Good afternoon. My name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. I'd like to welcome you today. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate a 2011 Chevrolet Explorer raised roof conversion van. Now this particular conversion van that we're going to look at today is a limited SEX package raised roof, seven passenger. Um, the X package, what that means, folks, is it's the top of the line package Explorer offers. And uh, starting on the front of the van, you'll notice that it does come with a premium mesh grill. Okay, really nice feature. And another feature I wanted to point out, a lot of people don't realize that these vans have it. This is where your license plate goes, obviously, but also duplicates as a step that will hold 400 pounds and it gives you access to clean your windshield a lot easier or maybe change a windshield wiper if you need to. Really nice feature. Now moving around to the side of the van, you're gonna notice this signature Explorer vent that they put on all their limited SEX vans. Helps dress up the van, uh, really nice feature. Uh, this, this van does come equipped with 20 inch premium chrome wheels. Uh, the, the tires on this van are, have probably been changed in the last 5,000 miles, so all four tires are ready to go. Now this van also does feature painted mirrors, painted door handles, and uh, full painted trim around the van. Uh, this van does come with a medallion ground effects kit, and what that does is that hides the running board that's back behind there. Really helps stress the van up a lot. Now moving down to the back, towards the back of the van, you're going to notice that this van does also come equipped with the opera lights. Uh, really dresses the van up at night. Uh, really pretty feature. Uh, I can't really demonstrate that now, but they do work. Okay, moving along to the rear of the van, I'm going to go over some of the benefits that this van does offer. Now, the first thing it does have is a rear backup system. Uh, the, the backup system will give you an audible and obviously a visual. Uh, that's a nice feature to have. This van is also flex fuel capable. Now what that means is you can run standard gasoline or you can run E85 ethanol um, and it gives you the option to pick and choose whatever might be the best value at that time fuel wise. Really nice. Now this van also is equipped with Stabilitrack and does have traction control. So even though it's a rear wheel drive, this vehicle is very well planted. Now also does come with a class three tow package as well with the additional uh, heavy duty cooler and uh, the tow haul button equipped right on the dash. So it's prepped from the factory to tow up to 6,400 pounds. Okay, moving along to the front of the van, I'm gonna go over some of the basic features that come along with this 2011 Explorer conversion van. Now the steering wheel uh, is a nice leather wrapped wheel with uh, wood grain accents on the wheel. Uh, the steering wheel does have your cruise control um, options located on the left side of the steering wheel and also has on the right side of the steering wheel control uh, buttons to control your radio um, so you can uh, operate your radio and go through all the different functions off the steering wheel and do not have to remove your hands uh, it's a nice safety feature this van does come equipped with uh, power mirrors they are heated also has power locks and it does come with a remote start system now, this vehicle, as I mentioned earlier, does come with a backup camera, okay? So that image is gonna display on the actual radio itself. There's no buttons or anything to push. As soon as you put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna see the image pop up on your radio. Uh, nice in a vehicle this size to have that feature. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it does come with a tow package with a, um, a tow button located on the dashboard. Now that's located right to the left of the radio and basically what that does is it will change your shift points when you are when you're towing something. Um, this van does come with traction control and you do have the ability to turn on and off the traction control and that button's located right below the radio. Now um, other safety features that come along with this van is General Motors OnStar. Um, that's a really nice feature to have you can even do hands-free phone through the OnStar as well, um, even though you have it equipped on the steering wheel. Um, now this vehicle does also have a front and rear air system. Now you do have controls for the front of the van located directly above the radio. Now the controls for the rear of the van are located directly above the rear view mirror. Okay, now moving on, you'll, there, you'll notice that there are some controls uh, above the mirror um, 
for the indirect lighting. Um, all the electronics in the back, um, the, the lights in the ceiling, the lights in the, um, the storage bins, and the lights that are uh, where your blinds are all located in the rear of the van are all controlled by these switches right here. Also, this van does come with a rear sunroof. Now, it's a fully functional power sunroof, and that control is located here as well. Now, the seats in this van um, are really nice. It, uh, I don't think I've ever sat in a seat as nice as uh, you'll find in these conversion vans. Um, they do come with heat. They do have a power lumbar, and they also have an eight-way power pedestal with full power recline. Now in between the front and driver seat, the front driver seat and passenger seat, you'll notice that there's a cooler located in between the two seats. It does have a removable liner, so it makes it easy to get rid of that water once that ice melts. And when the cooler is not in use, it also uh, duplicates as uh, cup holders for your drinks. Okay, moving along to the back of the conversion van. Um, this is where all the goodies are, so to speak. And uh, the first thing that you're going to notice is the big Vizio uh, TV in the back of this van. Now this actual television is a 240 hertz LED high definition television. Um, it will pick up local channels, doesn't do it so well when, while in motion. But if you're sitting still, uh, you typically can pick up four or five local stations. Makes it really nice if you're ever tailgating or if you're stuck in one place for, for a great amount of time. Now this fan also does come with a Blu-ray uh, DVD player. So it's got the latest and greatest technology uh, that, that's available today in the back of this fan. Um, this fan also includes a set of wireless head headphones, which is a really nice feature to have because um, not everybody wants to listen to uh, a movie while they're driving uh, a van. And uh, you can do a couple different uh, uh, neat things with those headphones. You can listen to different radio stations uh, than, than maybe mom or dad are in the front of the van through the headphones. So it's a really neat feature. Um, also, you'll notice in the back uh, that we do have privacy blinds that uh, cover all the windows in the back of the van. So uh, it gives you just a little more privacy. It's really nice, uh, especially on one of those really hot days. Um, it, it really helps keep the sun out. Now up in the top here, you'll notice that there's storage bins and they go all the way around the, the van. Um, there's actually five of these in the van. They do have a nice uh, safety net inside and they are lit as well. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, there was rear air controls in the back of this van. So whoever's in the back of this van does have the capability to adjust the climate, either hot or cold. Um, makes it really nice. Um, and you will notice in the ceiling uh, the real pretty lighting that Explorer uses. This is their indirect lighting. Now this is all LEDs. Uh, you do have the option to have that on or turn that off as I mentioned earlier with the switches in the front which are located above the rear view mirror. Um, also in this van the chairs that I'm sitting in are fully reclinable. Okay, the second row caption shares have armrests on both sides and they are quick release. So if you ever need to haul anything in this van, you do have the option to remove this seat very easy. They weigh right about 50 pounds, so it's not uh, unmanageable to move it with one person. Okay, moving along to the rear sofa, which I'm seating, sitting in right now. Um, one thing I wanted to go over is, is the sunroof in this particular van. Again, it's a fully functional power sunroof but does have the nice sunshade as well. Um, wanted to go over that. Also, the storage that I mentioned earlier um, in this van, which there's five of these compartments, wanted to demonstrate that this is the deepest storage uh, bin in the whole van. So you can cram blankets, pillows. Uh, it'll actually hold a lot of goodies in there. Um, now, this sofa that I am sitting on is uh, fully retractable. It's all power. It is a three-piece sofa, and what it does is it'll turn into a bed. And it's what they call the queen-size bed. Uh, not fully a queen-size bed, but that's how they class them. Uh, this is the biggest sofa that any conversion van company offers. And again, it is a three-piece power sofa. Very, very nice. One thing I wanted to demonstrate also in the back of the van is that we do have iPod docking stations back here. They're located on both sides of the sofa, okay? 
Now what these will do, both of these docking stations will charge um, any Apple device, okay? Um, as long as the charging ports match up, it will charge any Apple device. Now one of them is integrated to the media system. So what that means is you could uh, take an iPod Touch or your iPhone and uh, get a YouTube video started on it, plug it into this dock, and it's going to appear on the TV. Now the other docking station is just a charging station only. It does not have media capability. Uh, I want to make sure I went over that. Now the cup holders in the back of the van and uh, throughout the, the, the van and are all lit. Um, they do have a ring in the bottom of them, so it makes it easy to access them at, at night while you're traveling. Um, you will notice here on the side of the van um, that there's built-in headphone holders. They just clip in right like that and keep them out of the way. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch our video today at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Again, the 2011 Explore Raised Roof Conversion Van. If anybody has any questions or need any detailed information, please feel free to give me a call. My name is Justin Smith. And I also want to ask you if you like the videos that you see that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more conversion van videos to come. Thanks.